Hello everyone, I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools. Joined here, I have Jeremy Willis, Assistant Principal with Mount Juliet Middle, and Kevin Dawson, Principal at Green Hill High School. Gentlemen, what are we here to talk about today? Traffic patterns, driving around the school, Come where on. do I park Come and on. how do I get Come there? On. Move where it, are we move going? <laughs> I don't know. All right, <laughs> these guys, look, they're gonna help us out on traffic patterns and just uh, some simple, basic, need to know stuff for parking here at Green Hill High School, which you know, of course, set a portion of Mount Juliet Middle will be joining Green Hill High School. So what do you say, guys? Let's go for a little spin and kind of uh, fill people in on what's going on. Let's Sound good? It. Let's hop in. Let's roll. Okay, uh, I feel like I'm in driver's ed right now, but uh, so what we're gonna do first is student parking. This is if you have a valid driver's license, correct? <laughs> yes, sir, please. <laughs> please have a valid driver's <laughs> license, but a student parking here is what we're going to demonstrate first. So we'll get out to the roadway and do a, a entry in and uh, give you a good example of what that looks like. Right. Okay, we are right next to Lebanon Road. Up on top of the hill is Green Hill High School. Uh, Kevin, this is the student entrance behind us. Just clarify exactly to students where that is and the proper way to get up the hill. So students are going to enter over by Car Hunters, the used mm -hmm. car lot. It's at the bottom of the hill down by the football field house before you get to the sign. We're mm -hmm. right off of Lebanon Road. Yes. We'll have crossing guards out on Lebanon Road to help with the traffic for you to, for those of you that have to cross. But if you'll drive right up this hill behind us. Yes. This is a dedicated entrance and exit for our students. So entrance in the morning, right at the top of the hill, you'll see a dedicated student parking lot. In the afternoon, you'll all exit out this way and they'll make sure that you can vacate the campus in a timely manner for those of you that have to get to work or go to uh, siblings that are leaving. So again, you come in, you leave the same way that you come in, correct? Uh, yes. One very quick uh, note that we want to point out, it could be very easy to think. Kevin, let's just kind of walk with me here. As you see behind us, that red light, that brand new traffic light, uh, on the on the far side, further down Lebanon Road, that is not the student entrance. No, sir. There is no light at the student entrance. You will see crossing guards there. All right. Pretty simple stuff there. Everybody good so far? I don't think that's too difficult, right? No, absolutely not. All right. Okay, the guys have dropped me off, and here they come right now. A good reference point. They are heading, of course, east down Lebanon Road. The big American flag beside car hunters. Uh, the used car to, uh, slot beside the entrance, and here they go. They are going up the student entrance right there. So, pretty easy stuff, but that is a reference point. The car dealership, the American flag, same thing if you were traveling westbound down Lebanon Road, you would see that flag, the dealership, the entrance, student entrance, to head up to Green Hill High School is right here. All right, we are going up the student entrance right now at a safe speed. We're gonna turn left at the first entryway to the parking lot, just past this blue car coming by us. Mm -hmm. Students can park wherever they find a spot up in this lot right here. It's like Southwest, free seating, right? Absolutely. Free parking. First come, first serve. Gotcha, okay. Polish off the Pop-Tart, <laughs> finish your last Lizzie lyric, and let's go. Right now we are heading towards the parents' entrance and we have accessed North Green Hill Road off Lebanon Road. There is the front of the building. I know that can seem kind of odd to think it's the front but not facing Lebanon Road, but that is the front of the building. It faces North Green Hill Road. Parents, this is for you. And we're gonna go up here and take the right. Parents, this is going to take you around the back side of the school. Okay, so is that would that be correct? That's correct. That is correct. The right lane is for buses. Right lane is for buses. The left lane is for student drop off and pick up. There's a sign there to help remind you. Okay. The road will wrap all the way around the building to give us plenty of opportunity to back up without having to take up space out on North Green Hill. Gotcha. Road. And there's a sign that indicates student drop off. Yeah, right there. The left-hand lane is for student drop-off. There's student drop-off sign right there. Student drop-off. And away you go. 
This is the student drop-off lane and this will also be the student pickup lane in the afternoons. So if, you're, if your child is going to be a car rider, you will drive down this, the same lane that you dropped them off in, in the morning. Mm -hmm. We'll line up here and we'll await our students to come in and board their cars to leave for the afternoon. There is only one student drop-off pickup. It is right here. There was, there's not one on the back side of the building. It was just directing traffic on where to go to take the proper lane, correct? Correct. Okay. One place for student pickup and drop-off. More than anything with this is to know that students come in one way, the parents for that drop-off go in another way. They will access the school for the drop-off area off North Green Hill Road. That's one of the main points of emphasis we want to stress, right, Kevin? Yeah, we want to make sure that we keep the student entry and exit and the parent entry and exit separate so that it can create a, a good flow of traffic throughout the group. We've got a B-Day group coming on Monday, so mm -hmm. they'll be our guinea pigs. <laughs> we'll try it out, and hopefully we have it fine-tuned for that A-Day group that comes on Tuesday. Hey, let's just make one thing really clear. It's not going to be perfect that first day. It's not going to be perfect in the first couple days. It's going to take practice to get it right. Uh, even not only for just the Green Hill community, but just the community that surrounds Green Hill, you know, so yes, that uh, the neighborhoods and the businesses around and just the normal flow of traffic. So that's going to take some time and we'll all figure it out together. It'll just uh, be an adjustment, but it'll happen, right? And that's, a, that's very typical for, for new schools, as many of you do know, is those traffic patterns, uh, times of day where more volume is in, in place. Uh, so the schedule can be adjusted accordingly. So. You've been a fine driver. <laughs> I appreciate that. Patience and understanding is uh, what we uh, always want on that first day. And remember, there's always a first day. And we have to get through all that. And we have to be patient. And we have to uh, realize that the number one thing is student safety. Get them to and from school safely. That's what we want. And there That's couldn't right. be a better time to really say that because we are entering a new school year, uh, to be careful when you go through school zones. Be aware of buses. Be aware of children. Be aware of those crossing uh, stations. All those things. Our crossing guards. All those things. You know, look, it's not not supposed to be on your phones in the first place. Uh, but you're especially not supposed to be on them going through school zones. So Absolutely. just be careful. It is that time of year to uh, take extra caution when you're traveling out and about, especially during the mornings and the afternoon hours. So keep that in mind. Guys, I appreciate the uh, tour through the parking lot to kind of give our students and parents of Green Hill High School and our parents with Mount Juliet Middle uh, some added guidance on the drop-off and pickup zones. And Kevin, for you, uh, driving to school for our students, where to go, where to park, those sorts of things. Thank you so much for checking us out. Hopefully it was helpful. We'll see you later. I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools.